MCP, or Model Context Protocol, is Anthropic's way of making it possible to augment LLMs with tools. The Claude desktop acts as a client, and people have been creating servers that it can use. There are servers to connect to Google Drive, Web APIs, Google Maps, and of course, various databases. In this video, we're going to learn about the ClickHouse MCP server. We'll start by configuring the Claude desktop with this ClickHouse MCP server pointing at the SQL Playground, and then we'll ask it to answer some questions. Let's start by launching the Claude desktop. Next, we'll open the settings menu. You can do this by pressing Command plus comma on the Mac. Click on the Developer tab. Now, this is where any MCP servers will show, and you can see at the moment we don't have any. Next, let's click on Edit Config, which will take us to the config file. We'll open that in our editor, and you can see it's empty at the moment. Now, let's go to the ClickHouse MCP server page on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description below. If we come down a little bit, you can see the tools that it makes available. So we've got Run Select Query, List Databases, and List Tables. So those are the actions that you can take against a ClickHouse database. If we scroll down a bit, we can see the config section. You'll need to update the environment variable placeholders to point to your own ClickHouse or ClickHouse Cloud service. But if we come down a little bit more, we've got a config with the SQL Playground configured. So I'm going to use this one. So we'll just copy that config onto our clipboard, and then we're going to come back to our editor and paste it in. I'm also going to update the command to have the full path to UV, as Claude sometimes doesn't seem to be able to read from the path depending on the way that you installed UV. Once we've updated the file, we need to restart Claude Desktop to have it pick up the changes. OK, and now you can see we've got a new hammer icon. So let's click on that, and you can see the MCP tools that it's got available. And we just saw those on the ClickHouse MCP server page. So we're now good to go. So let's ask Claude what data we have to work with. Notice that it asks permission the first time that it uses each tool. And it's given us a pretty good overview of the data. I'm going to ask it if there's any financial data. This is the first time it's using run select query. So again, it asks us for permission. So let's give it that. And then it carries on going. You notice it does then say the MCP server is disconnected at one point, but it seems to keep going pretty fine. We can go back afterwards and look at the queries that it executed when answering our question. I'm going to ask it to do something a bit harder now. Can you create a multi-line chart showing the text docs worst hit by the dot-com bubble. So it's going to have to do a bit of work to get this result. Uh, it says it couldn't record the tool result. I'm not really sure why that happened, uh, but it seems to continue with no problems. And after a little while, it's done collecting the data. And you can see it starts writing some React code using Claude artifacts. And we eventually get this chart here. The x-axis needs a bit of adjusting. Design folks wouldn't be happy with that. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. We can also see on the left-hand side, if we scroll a little bit, we can see its written summary as well. OK, one more question. What did the recovery look like? Again, it runs some queries, identifying that the data goes up to 2006. And then we can see it's going to make us another chart. And we get a pretty good written summary of what happened in that time frame as well. So that's ClickHouse MCP server. So give it a try and let us know how you get on.